Packy. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff from Pack Geek. I'm here with a very special guest, Chris Carlin from Upper Deck. He is the senior manager of customer experience at Upper Deck. Chris, yeah. how are you, man? I'm good, and I gotta tell you, I'm a little sad this is my first Pack, Pack Geek uh, episode. So we gotta make it a good one, right? Uh, it is going to be a good one. And, and truth be told, I've been trying to connect with Chris for a while to do an episode with him, so. We're, we're gonna have you out to our headquarters one of these days. That's, uh, I can't wait, yeah. I can't wait. So how is the National going? What's up? You guys have an amazing booth. Well, this National is insane. I haven't seen such excitement here. It, it feels like in over a decade. You know, we do the uh, Fall Expo, Spring Expo in Canada, and the hockey card market is always really good, but this is insane the last yes. couple of days. Our, our promotions, people have gone bonkers for them, and, and I don't know if it's the Gary V effect or <laughs> just the <laughs> economy, or, or I, I think it's a little bit of everything, right? And uh, it's a really, really fun time. And Chicago's a great market, everyone can get to it. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm super geeked out myself at how well the response has been. Well, this tr week. truth be told, we, uh, we walked by the booth earlier and you were holding court, and there was a mob of people listening to every word you had to say. I'm guessing it was some sort of giveaway, but yeah, they yeah. were going they were going wild over there. No, we had uh, we had a crazy thing where uh, folks can earn an invite to Upper Deck's Diamond Club party tonight, and we always have Sweet. a really fun party, and it's it's nice to do something to engage the fans here. But it was based on purchases, so okay, it, we had a leaderboard this year and everyone was kind of waiting and then someone else would go buy a box, someone else would go buy a box of Monumental, someone else would buy something Upper Deck Authenticated and it would chink, 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 chink up and towards the end, it was, it was really crazy. No kidding, um, super competition. Yeah, yeah, but it was, there were also like uh, collectors, or one collector's like, I just want to be number one, you know, like there's that, uh, there's that appeal too. So it was, it was really, really a, a wacky, crazy morning. For, well, all three days have been busy, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been it's been wild, and I gotta say, because you brought it up, watching Twitter. If you guys go to the Upper Deck Twitter feed, some of the monumental oh, polls dude. are are nuts. And that's just what we had time to film. Michael Jordan All Star jersey from his monumental box. Wow. Just stunning. For the monumental, you get five uh, five UDA items per box. Uh, it's a thousand bucks, which is like, it's a lot of money, but right? It's, but it is a, it's a big box. Large box. Big box. You know, and there's you're redemptions in there for larger pieces that don't fit in the boxes. Uh, but I think our UDA team has really figured out a nice blend. I, I don't think I had one person who was like, oh, ugh. you know, I, I didn't do so good. But you get <laughs> from a lot of boxes, and uh, some of the hot boxes we had. The, what was crazy? The last box was one of the hot boxes for the spokespeople. So you had a Serena Williams item, you had a LeBron James item, you had a Tiger Woods item. The oh, last, the last piece gosh. They, they opened is a gold Michael Jordan basketball. And, and so that was amazing to see, but what was also kind of painful was all the people who could have chosen that box oh, that did it, you know, because so it was close. the last. It's not like we saved it for last. Everyone could choose where they wanted to grab. So. I, I saw somebody pulled a golden ticket and I was like, what, yeah. what is the golden ticket for? And I listened to the video. And it was like four thousand dollar credit to pick, whatever they wanted yeah, in the booth. Pick something off the wall and uh, have a great time. And and that was pulled in the first thirteen boxes. So um, we really wanted to make it where you don't know what's in. They, I just I didn't know, you know. And and often you hear like uh, they're planning things on certain days. And uh, I thought it was really cool that it popped out that quick. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. So um, I I wanted to tell you on that note of. of really like giving back to the collectors. Uh, this past Valentine's Day, yeah. my wife reached out to you guys because you you had a, a post online talking about like, is there somebody special in your life would you like to give them? And there are these uh, Upper Deck Random Act of Kindness yeah. boxes that they send out. Now, I've, I've seen these online. Um, there was one for Valentine's Day. It was awesome because my wife is really big into Valentine's Day, so yeah. I always go big for her. So. She saw an opportunity to go go big for me, yeah. and she reached out to you guys, and and I, she lucked out and was ended up having an opportunity to have one of these random acts of kindness boxes sent to me. So I'm I'm excited to be able to thank you in person because it no, was yeah. so cool. We 
I mean, we got literally they had a poster made of my wife and I. It's like it looks like an upper deck card blown into poster size. There was a box of good one. There was there was hockey cards and binders and upper deck snuggies, which yeah. get a lot of use around. I, I'm embarrassed to say I put it on backwards when I first tried it on, but it still works either way. It works either way. But so thank you, Chris, because that is a really cool thing. No, we doing. really believe that uh, we. Uh, it's important to give specialized and unique. Uh, service to our customers. It's a very competitive nature, this industry, and uh, it's really important for us to give back. We do a lot of philanthropy, um, that some we talk about, some we don't, but uh, our customers, you know, I always, I grew up with Upper Deck, and they were the collector's choice, and it's very important to me and our team and our president that we make sure that we remain the collector's choice, and, and by creating these, if you look at all the, you can find it on the Upper Deck blog, all the the Valentine's Day UD racks that we did. But each one was really personalized and we really took a lot of time in, in making sure that uh, we thank our fans for making us the collector's choice. So uh, we appreciate y'all and uh, it's, it's great to uh, be able to be here with you today. It, it was cool. So um, speaking of awesome products, like we, we've got kind of a, a variety of stuff. Do you want to talk about what these newer products here and then all? Let's go old school. Okay, okay, so first off, you guys know how, how we do on the show. Love the 80s, so I. it would have been a huge mistake for me to not have 1989 Upper Deck packs for Chris and I to open. 30 years ago, Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie card. This is our 30th national. So 1988 in uh, Anaheim, we shopped around the prototype cards of Wally Joyner and Dwayne Bice. I'm trying to pick up some for my sons. And uh, then it was here in uh, 1989 when we were had our first national 30 years ago. So. Hope that makes you all feel old at home. Yeah. And this, this this set was a game changer. I remember when this came out, getting like the chase. It was, and I feel like that that Griffey card, sir, it, it it brought this brand new attention to the hobby from people who weren't weren't even diehard collectors because they wanted that card. Yeah. So I was seeing my friends. I had I had friends that were collectors, friends that weren't, and even my friends that weren't collectors were like, I've got to find one of these Griffey Junior cards. Yeah, That's yeah, cool. Yeah. So. That that was awesome. So, um, do you want to talk about these, and then we'll then we'll no. Do I want a to talk ribbon? one more thing about these. Okay, so let's my talk. mom used to drop me off in a hobby shop while she'd go shopping. It's basically my babysitters. And one day, I remember the guy showed me on some tops packs how you could open them up, see, and he knew because there was sequencing. Yeah. And you could tell which ones are what, and if you just warmed them up a little bit, you could reseal them. So, it's not just the color photography on both sides or the premium white card stock. Um, the, a real game changer the was the proof, foil yeah. packs, and then we utilized random sequencing with a lot of this. So I remember opening and getting two Ken Griffey Juniors out of a box. You know, like, oh my gosh, this could happen now. It's there was not an urban sequence. legend that somebody pulled like six from one box, and that. Wow. So my my friends and I and I don't know obviously urban legend. I don't know if that happened. It's a lot of hobby, but that hobby was the goal. Myths, that was yeah. the goal for my friends and I. Yeah. We wanted to try to find the other boxes that had six of them in it. Yeah. Um, it's a shame there wasn't box breaks back then. Exactly, exactly. Maybe, hey, could what? happen right now. Hey, hey, good luck. Good luck to you, sir. I hope you pull a Griffey Peter Jr. Peter Cavillia. I'm going for a Peter exactly. Cavillia. Wait, so that's your Twitter handle or, or something along yeah, those so lines. Yeah, so I got on Twitter really early, and uh, no one knew that you know celebrities were going to jump on or what have you. And I always loved Peter Cavillia when I was a kid because <laughs> he'd, he'd either strike out or hit a home run like out of the stadium, right? And... Uh, uh, so I grabbed that, but a couple of collectors have showed me uh, I, one of my favorite memorabilia pieces. Someone saw Pete at a show, said, hey, do you know about this Chris Carlin guy who has your Twitter handle? I would give it to him tomorrow, like, no problem. Of course, that's, that's of course. Icky. And, uh, and he signed this uh, picture to me, love the Twitter handle, you know, keep it up, what have you. So that is awesome. I, and uh, Pete Cavillia, is he not first team all beer league? Like, if you were starting a beer league team tomorrow, would you not draft him? I, I'd like to yeah. bring attention to that sweet Nolan Ryan I just pulled because this, this is was this was super cool. Oh yeah, that That's for a beautiful me was a game changer. Yeah, yeah so that, cool. that is. And I love how they didn't come out like again. This speaks to the 
the random nature of them. They're all, you know, upside down, you know, and so is that backwards. just that that is the random sequencing coming into play yeah. there? Okay. Because yeah. I always wondered, like they they're all over the place, but that makes sense. So fun. So you you had it was it a, at a mall or where was Did it? You get a Randy went? Johnson. Hey, right you just what? <laughs> This Sorry, guy, this guy. I'm a bad geek too. <laughs> okay, Randy Do Johnson it. rookie. <laughs> this, that was so cool. far, man. You know, I saw the Montreal is, hat. I miss those Montreal Expos. That is, a, that that is a good matches. hat. What team are they talking about playing in Montreal? Did you hear about this? I haven't. Splitting, uh, splitting the season in Montreal. It would oil play, can void. Play yeah, half a season in Montreal, half a season in another city? Yeah. Weird. I which team. But you're right about, I'm going to put that back up right there. But that Orioles hat is classic. That is like a sweet vintage. Expo. Expo. Thank you. You're thinking of the uh, Ben McDonald yeah. air card. <laughs> That's here. right. I think we're going to reverse negative. Wait, was that, was that 91? The Ben McDonald? Oh, that was 91. Or was it 90? I want to say it was 91 for some Dale reason, Murphy's, but I could be wrong. Uh, in this one is our reverse negative. That's right. Boy, those are rare. Those are tough to come by. God, just feeling these again, like I remember, I remember my hands being like with with other cards, like the co coarseness of the cards and just how slick these feel. Like so, was, what was your favorite set growing up? Yeah, I couldn't really afford a lot of the upper deck initially, and I always traded my Griffies away for stupid Sheffields and Greg Jeffries. <laughs> the like Sheffield. a real idiot. Sheffield still, still a stud. Me. And I heard Greg um, Jeffries is a super nice guy. But I, uh, I got a lot of my cards from my three older brothers, which was awesome because um, they were a lot older. So when they were finding out about girls and leaving the, the hobby, I was like, bring it to daddy. <laughs> exactly. Bring it on over. <laughs> Now, did you have to and purchase so those from some, them, or was it like we don't no, care they about forgot these? About them. Take them, Chris. Yeah. And then I, uh, I, I did it perfect, man. I, uh, I went to college, and uh, it was early '90s, and I sold a lot of my cards off for beer money, you know, because that's what you did then. I but unfortunately was, did the same. It was junk wax, so I did really good in terms of what I got for it, and then uh, I had the coolest thing happen. Chris Sabo. God, I love this guy. I remember going to shows and being like, oh my God, it's Chris Sabo. Chris Sabo is another athlete that loved the rec specs. Yeah. I try to I try to focus on those rec specs. I might be the only person doing that, but yeah. Kurt Rambis had the rec specs. There are yeah, several yeah. good ball players that had the, the recreational glasses that they called rec specs. I'm thinking about trying to bring those back. Hey, that could be- You know, be, it's a bold be, move. That could be uh, a cool something- A giveaway? For, yeah, a great giveaway. We're always looking for new, like, oh, Dante Bichette. I love this guy, you know, being a Southern California guy. I was like, this was one of the guys, you know, I was so stupid back then. I would always buy the, the Angels items, like, oh, this is great, but I'm buying it in, what I didn't realize is if I went to Cleveland, I could buy Dante Bichette for a quarter of the price, you know? Oh yeah, the local markup. Yeah, the local I was Royals, markup gets you. Royals yeah. territory, so oh, yeah, George yeah, Brett yeah. was always priced out of the shop for a young George Brett fan. This was so cool. When I first started working at Upper Deck, we had uh, we had these paintings on the wall. Those are beautiful. And uh, you know, some they are beautiful, but some are like a little hokey. But uh, it just uh, brings me back to some of those early days at Upper Deck. So, who is the uh, artist behind those? Do you do you remember? Yes. Or? And his name's escaping me for a second. He's a famous guy. In fact, not on the back. Everyone's making fun of me right now that's watching this because <laughs> um, I'm gonna grab these. Yeah. Pardon my reach. We actually ended up we moved to a different headquarters and we liquidated these um, because they just didn't match with what we were our decor was of the day. David Adams ended up picking up a lot of these and they oh, are, really? the are selling the original artworks. That's cool. So there's a little plug for David Adams, like they need one more, but they're all right guys. What what do we have here? Let's do this one first, because Upper Deck's all about innovation, right? Okay, like, people are saying right now, what is Jeff gonna say about hockey? So I'm gonna need to rely on you for this. I Please got your continue. Back. I okay. got your back. Okay. But if you think about it, we're celebrating 30 years. So Upper Deck was the first company with the some of the innovations we talked about here. Yes. First autograph card, 
first, is that right? Yeah, first game Impact jersey card. Yeah, with the Ken Griffey Jr. and the Mantles and all, all those Ted Williams. I remember those. Uh, yeah. First game jersey cards, first game patch cards, first cut signature cards, first uh, uh, CD-ROM cards. We had audio cards. I was hired in uh, 97 to support the CD-ROM Power Deck cards. First video cards, first dinosaur bones. We were... We were cutting dinosaur bones for this Goodwin Champions product, and we told the vendor, yeah, we need to cut bones. And they're like, what do you need to cut <laughs> bones for? So we're always trying to be innovative. So this is a brand new product. Uh, it's been in the market for a little bit, but it's new this year called yeah. Ingrain. And what we really wanted to do is have a product that had a feel of wood. And so I think you'll dig this. Very cool. Sorry, Chris asked me earlier if I had a blade. And I, I love the ask me that, but I, I unfortunately didn't. So we're going to have to make We're open and dirty. Boxes. We're yeah. open and dirty. Exactly. Don't pay no attention to that. Look at the cards <laughs> over here. So nice thick pack, right? This is a premium release. That's cool. How but, many cards in that box? Uh, six, but you get more sometimes like we did. So oh, feel wow. that card. That's cool. And I'll show this one off. you got to actually feel them to see the, uh, the textures that we did with the product to make it actually have a feel of wood. To each of them. Now I know Mike Bossy. This I can get down like this. All right, now look at how thick some of these are. You know, we have to do layers upon layers, and as you can see, it's oh, got wow. an acetate stick blade. That's this is Henri Yokiharo. I know you want to get that one. They put Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves on stage at the draft here in Chicago when he was drafted, and Patrick Kane struggled with that that one a little that bit. That silver signature on the black. It is pops. really nice. That's good looking. So, at a here's, if you're not a hockey fan, there's a couple things you need to know. Any Canadian team really usually does pretty well. There's a hotbed of collectors that PC all of them. Uh, but there's the ones that are just a little bit above and beyond, and that's Toronto Maple Leafs and Montreal Canadiens. So, right. this is Noah Jolson. He is a rookie for the Habs. But uh, this is a cool one because it's got a piece of his stick. Game no stick. way. And then it's autographed as well. That is beautiful. All on card. I love that. Yeah. That's really nice. Out of 65. And this that is, is an Anthony Cirilli. He's a pretty good young prospect for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And that's his autographed version. It's kind of a cool card called Synthesis. Again, if you feel it, the textures are just that's very kind of cool. unique and different. And and it's a substantial so. card too, I like that. Yeah. One more wood card. So that is a little taste of ingrained. I love those. Thank think, you for got, bringing those on. Those are a little good one? Heck yeah, let's right. do it. So Goodwin Champions is an awesome product because it has a little bit of everything, right? And I love that because I, I just generally like the multi-sport release. Yeah. As you said, a little bit of everything. And I, I love the idea that I can go in and pull like a fighter. And in the same pack, you might get Ben Simmons. Yeah. You know, it's, that's fun. And what really kind of makes it, we have a saying at Upper Deck, keep Goodwin Champions weird, right? So we're always <laughs> adding weird content. It's, it's trying to be unique and fun. But that really, this is my favorite product to break because you just have no idea is what you're going to get. Is there any fossils in here? There's not fossils in this one. There's, okay. uh, there are, so Goodwin Champions was a tobacco era release and they featured, what makes it fun is it's, it pays tribute to uh, the original release. So they wouldn't just feature uh, baseball players, they'd feature citizens of the day and they'd have bugs and animals and things like that. So that's why you have such diverse items in here. I've got uh, a, I got ink in the first pack. Oh, that's cool. So this insert set is one of my favorites. I, I, I collect this with my kids. Look at you, already pulled the Luca? Well, it's just a regular Luca. Yeah, but, but it's, a, it's, it's Luca. a Luca. You forgot, so we're, we're from Dallas, Heroes, so that's exciting yeah, stuff for us. I'll give this to you. Okay. <laughs> Genuine Heroes is a uh, really cool release uh, that pays tribute to real live heroes. So. That's a cool, cool one. Yeah, I, cool. I think when I collect with my kids, you know, you talk about baseball heroes or football heroes. Uh, it's cool that there's an insert set that are actual real and heroes. And there's several different parallels of the minis, which I really like. Yeah. And those are very cool. Yeah, I, you I always just... want to check the backs of those. Some of them are numbered. And uh, 
those are a lot of fun. So who's your favorite personality in this year's Good Life? Like this, this is a uh, interesting one, a John McCain mini, but that you is... can feel the texture. We use some of that for, and it's called oh, a, yeah, lumberjack, a lumberjack, because it's got that wood texture. Oh, I like these. The Gowdies are always. Yeah. Michael Chang. Of course, you got the Tiger. Everyone's, a lot of our spokespeople are in there, but you get a regular Tiger, or you could get a cool mini Tiger. Or you could get a horizontal Tiger. What? I had the real uh, <laughs> Tiger, the tiger Hut. Tiger I've never yeah. pulled three out of there before. Again, speaks to the random nature of the uh, sequencing here. So I, I do really appreciate like the Americana that goes into these. Yeah. It's, it feels like a very American product. You got the great one. Or old school boxer like Jack Johnson if we're talking about Americana. Nice, there you go. Boy, what an interesting story behind Jack Johnson, man. He's a Michael Chang mini. As a tennis lover, man, I, I really appreciate that you guys have tennis. Yeah, you're a big tennis fan, huh? Oh, yeah. And I grew up with Michael Chang. Like, he was one of the guys we looked up to. I always get so excited when we have got a... We've got a list that shows all the autographs that come back in each day, you know? And I get excited because, oh, gosh, are there any redemptions, you know, we need that are like, yeah, we got them. But it's fun when Goodwin Champions come out because even I'm like, oh, my gosh, they're signing in this? Yeah, That's really exactly. Cool. It's and you got, you know, Michael Jordan, spokesperson. I've heard of him. Serena Williams, spokesperson. You got cool surfers like Coco Ho, and oh my gosh, that's a piece of her bikini. Oh. <laughs> Racy. Oh, so you guys have... Cool well, multicolor. Are the, are the shoe the shoe pieces, you have that of Jordan and you have that of Luca, correct? Is that right in this? We or have that of Tiger that Woods I saw someone pull In Tiger pulling. Woods? Yeah. Really? So what they do there is they take collectible shoes. Um, gosh, they're right here. StockX does all the stuff with the collectible shoes and we know what that market's like. So we're trying to engage that fan a little bit and uh, cut up collectible shoes, but have them signed and have them real short, and real limited, yeah. much like the shoes. So. We've seen a lot, a lot of cross uh, collecting going on with uh, the sneakerheads, you know? Oh, I bet. That makes sense. Well, Gary Vee is saying that the sneakerheads are the next it group says, yeah. to enter, enter the hobby, so. So I finished with sense. two really cool cards. I'm going to do this one first. So the, you can say what you want about manufactured patch cards, but that's, a, that's darn cool manufactured patch cards. And what I've seen with these is, uh, we have a lot of different types of collectors, a lot of different fans, but uh, the female collectors really, I know oh, a couple wow. female collectors, and see how it like radiates a little bit? That's beautiful. It's really cool. Um, I know a few uh, of our female collectors love these Animal Kingdom cards. And this one's uh, cool for travelers. They have these uh, maps that they do relic cards of. Again, a very thick card, but it's cool. Like. I remember we were at uh, an event at the Portofino in uh, Florida, and someone pulled the uh, Portofino Italy map card. So that no was kidding? Really cool. yeah. Very cool. So I want to tell you, I grew up in the Midwest, and one of my favorite bands growing up was 311, because they're serious? from Omaha, yeah, Nebraska. Yeah, yeah. So I was super excited to see you have 311 autographs in yes. this set, like of all well, the Well, the coolest and... one is that the, there's one card, I don't know if you've seen it, that has every member signed the really? card. Really? No, yeah. I haven't seen it. It's awesome. That is super cool. So how, how do you guys like select the bands and, and the celebrities you get? So guys? this one's really cool. The guy worked for me, uh, Patrick Smith, and uh, he loves 311, and uh, he goes to the shows all the time and uh, said, hey, I think I can do this, and there's a great following for them still. I love 311, too. It's like oh, my college band. I So I drive my wife crazy listening to 311 because she does not understand the awesome blend of rock and, like, reggae that yeah, they yeah. do. And she just thinks it's, it's as she calls it, bad reggae. But <laughs> they're a great rock band. And Listen, normally your wife's right on. <laughs> Tell her that to her face, but <laughs> this one, she's a little off. But, yeah. 311 is a great inclusion, but yeah, again, Upper Deck's the one that can bring you players like Jordan, uh, which is great, and um, yeah, it's just a really fun break. So check that out is, the Goodwin it is Champions. A blast.
Absolutely, I highly recommend Goodwin Champions. And this engraved product is super nice too. Yeah. So you hockey collectors out there, make sure to check that out. Chris, thank you brother. Dude, I appreciate you coming Long over. overdue, long, long time, overdue. Yes, Can't long wait time to do it making. Again. So same here, thank you for bringing this stuff on. We really appreciate it and, and have a great national. Yeah, you too. It's gonna be a lot of fun if you're out here. Get here quick, everything's going pretty fast. It's awesome. Look for the monumental boxes. See you guys later. Take care. Hey guys, thanks for checking out another episode. Make sure to subscribe to Pack Geek on YouTube. Also check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks. Pack Geek.